Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. We are here at the Village Tavern in North Ferrisburg, and today is the World Arm Wrestling League Vermont Qualifier. want to see a match. They really do. They come here, they want to have a good time, they want to see somebody going at it. Everybody gets up here, gives it 110%, their heart goes into this and they're all here to, to win. I love arm wrestling just because, I mean, everybody in the sport are really nice guys. We're all in it to win it. Off the table friends, on the table mortal enemies. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Watch your hand, watch your hand. Match there. Win, lose, or draw, you'll find they all shake each other's hands and walk away friends. There's going to be local competitors arm wrestling against national champions today. Keep on your side, Eugene. Come on, Eugene. Seven-time national champion. I'm nine years running Vermont state champion. You've got some people in this room carrying world titles in their pocket. Chase my third world title here uh, in September. Come to the table. Do what you do your first turn. Do what is natural to you. We have a lot of areas being represented. We got New York State. We got quite a few from Vermont. We got some guys from Maine. New Hampshire, Quebec, Canada, Massachusetts. 39 years, I tell you, I've been doing this. I'm still learning. I learn by teaching the new people. Come to the table, elbows on the pad, your free hand goes to the peg. Arm wrestling, it's a sport of technique, strength, muscle memory. So it's not always the biggest guys that win. You do um, slip your grip. We're going to strap it together. Well, the most striking thing at first when you're a novice is how fast it goes. Go! Match right here. Go! Match ready, go! Match here. You're gonna see these pros going all at it. Very, very intense. For a short time, usually. Sometimes a long time. Bill Sinks, they call him the marathon man because there's no quitting that guy. He'll stand there for 10 minutes and pull and you, you don't do that in arm wrestling. Match. Close your thumbs, close your hands, go! Last week we went to the home of Bill Sinks in Weybridge to join him in a training session. <laughs> but I want to hurt your right for Saturday. Right. You want to be good. Bill is a seven-time national champion who promotes the sport of arm wrestling here in Vermont and helps little kids get started in this competition. When I started, I was so excited about it. I know it was for me. My name was written all over the sport. I made so many friends all over the world. Bill Sinks, old war horse from days gone by. Breathe, kid, breathe. Oh yeah, breathe. right. He's so dedicated to the sport that he's an inspiration to be around. I got really good really fast, practicing and pulling with Bill all the time. First place, right there, gold. Oh, 1997, first place, national champion. Well, that's 20 years ago. Here's the world in Virginia Beach. I took second place. This is an international competition, first place. These two I got the same day, second and third. And I coach and mentor people in arm wrestling because I just want to give back to the sport of what it's given me so much. How are you doing, Dave? Pretty good. You ready for Saturday? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> One of the guys was like, yeah, you should just, you, if you're from around here, well, you should just go train with Bill. You know, and you set up with him, you know, you just realize how good he is. Bill has been doing this for more than 20 years. I'll tell you different ways that you could use your own strengths. He's kind of a quiet mentor. <laughs> We do a lot of weight training, a lot of table time. Bill will go over like how to pull in the straps, where to pull from. I like to see the guys that I train go to compete. Like George, he's doing awesome. He's definitely one of my toughest uh, competitors. at a high level, I feel, at my age. I still train like crazy. Every day, four o'clock in the morning, working out. 
Well, family, I have a beautiful wife, Carrie, and three wonderful children work. I have a construction company that I run, and I'm also a volunteer fireman. In fact, I'm the chief. I think that any top athlete is going to be an overachiever anyway. You know, in all facets of life, and we're here to live on this earth, we might as well take advantage of it and just do everything we can. I do it because I love, I'm very competitive. It's just fun to pin somebody else. <laughs> It's just like, yeah, I'm stronger. <laughs> I love the challenge of kind of pitting my strength against something. No, I'm really excited to see her kick some ass. My kids are grown and gone. I'm almost 53 years old and I'm doing this. And it's taking me all over, the, all over the world. It's competing. The people and the friends I've made, it's priceless. Absolutely priceless. I'm wrestling in Vermont. I think we're definitely flourishing. Plus, I'm pushing it. I'm doing. I'm running three, four tournaments a year, helping. You know, try to get the word out. Every state has their, their top dogs. George and Bill, they are Vermont. Without these two, there would be no pulling in Vermont. You know, we have some good arm wrestlers here. It's a healthy state. This is an awesome environment to be a top athlete. I've never met a Vermont competitor that I didn't like. This sport is pretty easy to get into because it doesn't cost you any money to do it. I compete at the Addison County Fair. And I would just do the, uh, the kid classes when I was younger and it basically was just all the farmers and everything like that. They both arm wrestled. Tucker, the older one, took second last year in his age group and Griffin took third. It's, it's a, a great, great sport, sport for kids, actually. It's family oriented. For me, the kids are where it's at. You know, this old guy's only around for so long. You gotta give back to the community, you know? And that, that's, I think everybody should. championships on June 29th on ESPN and I'll be rooting for the Vermont competitors. We will get stuck in Vermont for you again real soon. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and sign up for weekly email alerts. Seven days. 2005. <laughs> Vermont Arm Wrestlers Flex for the state finals. So that is, well, 13 years ago. Close. Go!